Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Toasted Tale podcast. Today, I want to ask a question of you. Why do you think we like secrets? More specifically, why do we like to know secrets? What's so exciting about being in the know? And being around people that may not know as much as you do? Well, we live in a very interesting time. A lot of our own personal lives are out there on social media and the internet for anyone to see. Every day on the 24-hour news cycle, we are bombarded with up-to-date news, sometimes correct, sometimes false. But we are constantly being told pieces and snippets of information that, by and large, are accessible to anyone who wants to view it. Therefore, understanding why we get that gratification when knowing a secret where others do not is important to understanding our own minds and how we've developed as humans. I don't know whether you've heard this before, But Sir Francis Bacon published in his 1597 book, Mediation Sacra, that, quote, knowledge itself is power, end quote. The more you know, the more options you have. And when we were developing hundreds, thousands of years ago, the more we knew in a situation, the better chance we had of leaving that moment with a positive outcome. Whether this was hunting stronger or faster animals when we roamed the land as nomadic tribesmen, or in more modern times trying to negotiate better terms to a trade deal, or a higher salary for your job, it may be simply the ability to make friends with those important people you want and influence them to get what you need. Impressing the right people can get you far, getting you a bit more popularity and a bit more social clout. All things which are really important to thriving in a human society. It feels like secrets have also been a fascination with humans from the beginning. Knowing things that others don't is exciting. In Victorian times, there was a trend that went around for furniture that hid secret compartments and drawers in areas you wouldn't expect. The rich people of these times could pay a cabinet maker to make them an intricate, fine wardrobe. And if perhaps on this piece of furniture you were to press a hidden button, known only to you and its maker, then a secret compartment may pop open with just enough room for you to hide some important documents or special ornaments. Maybe you're a business tycoon and you've got your grand mahogany desk, but you want something special, something that only you know about, a secret within. You could then pay for a beautiful desk to have multiple secret compartments that you can hide important documents in, maybe precious business plans or notes from your lover. It could be whatever you want. It could simply be when you invite all of your work pals over, you can show them how special your furniture is like a party trick for the rich and powerful. Just one more way to flex and show off. It's funny as well, there have been waves of Victorian furniture inherited through family heirlooms and the like, which have been passed down and only now, when perhaps moving a piece of furniture and hearing a rattling within that is unusual, where families are finding these secret compartment-filled pieces that 
are filled with the most peculiar items and often create more questions in the mind of the finder than what's answered. Even though this isn't a modern example, in 1642, a long time ago now, a young couple, Robert and Susanna Jones, brought a used large chest. They were obviously going to use it for storage. And they lived with this chest for 20 years, until one day they decided to move it. And inside, after some rattling was heard, they investigated and discovered a secret drawer within. Inside, spilled out a olive wood rosary with huge amounts of papers within, and on these papers were written mysterious writings and symbols. Now, some of these papers, with no one knowing their importance, were used over time, but some years later, after the Great Fire of London broke out, Susanna, now a widow, unfortunately, had the sense to take the papers with her, and it turned out that these papers were originally used by John Dee, a famous English mathematician, astronomer, astrologer, teacher, occultist, and alchemist. Born in 1527, and on these papers, he wrote his accounts of his conferences with angels. I can only imagine how fascinating that would have been to read, and what a surprise it would have been as well. Because I'm enjoying reading poems at the moment, I of course, had to find a poem that dealt with secrets. And Emily Dickinson, who lived between 1830 and 1886, wrote this one called The Reticent Volcano Keeps. The Reticent Volcano Keeps, his never slumbering plan. Confided are his project pink to no precarious man. If nature will not tell the tale Jehovah told to her, can human nature not survive without a listener? Admonished by her buckled lips, let every babbler be. The only secret people keep is immortality. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of the Toasted Tale podcast. This episode was inspired by a short video I saw of a modern-day furniture maker who had made a Harry Potter-themed desk with all the magical secret compartments that I thought was awesome. And so I wanted to look a little bit deeper, so thank you for giving me that opportunity. If you liked today's episode, then you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. My handle is at podcasttale. Sharing, liking, and commenting on this episode as well helps the channel greatly. Thank you so much for listening again. I really appreciate any feedback you have. I look forward to speaking to you all again soon for another Toasted Tale by the Fireside.